Well, hello there, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning back in. This is a video on how to watch videos. Ugh. Now, I didn't think this would actually be a video that we would need to go over, but then last year, I, I pretty much had to have this entire conversation with a student via Zoom when uh, it was a whole thing, and so we're just gonna run through it. I know, I know, you're probably like, I know how to watch YouTube videos. I'm on YouTube and I have more followers than you do. They're not even called followers, they're called subscribers. Does this guy even YouTube at all? The answer is yes, and I've been YouTube in since before you even knew what the word YouTube was because I'm an old person, children. So let me impart some wisdom on you. Please, first and foremost, when you're watching a video on YouTube for instructional purposes, you cannot treat it like a normal YouTube video. What do I mean by that? You can't just pop it on the background, swipe it into the little corner, pop up your Instagram and start scrolling. You can't just put your phone down, let the video keep rolling and just being like, oh, whatever. You can't just sit there on your Chromebook or your laptop with like the audio off and like, oh, I'm reading the subtitles. YouTube don't know what I'm saying. I'm just reading the subtitles and probably don't get to you. No, I get what I am saying. I'm not even sure what I said at all. I guarantee YouTube didn't. So listen to the audio and the video. You're gonna to need to pay attention. In addition to that, to help you pay attention, most YouTube videos are not gonna be like this YouTube video where it's just like my big beautiful face with the mask ruffling up all my, all my facial hair features. Ugh. Usually, it's gonna be a whole presentation. You'll need to see what's on the uh, lecture screen back there behind me, which, you know, is hard to see right now, but we'll go with it. So you need to make that thing full screen. All you gotta do, if you're on the Chromebook or a computer, hover over the video. Yeah, look, look down there, uh, look, look down there in the corner. You can actually see there's a little full screen button. At the very least, put it on studio mode. Uh, that way, you've got a nice big window, then it's very easy to snap the YouTube video window into one side of the screen and put like your focus questions or some notes or some background info on the other side of the screen so you look at them both. Normally when I sign videos, you've got some focus questions to answer. You've got some things to do, some notes that you should be taking. That's why you need the video to be full screen so you can see the entire screen. Another good tactic would be use whatever your nicer, bigger screen is for the video. For example, I'd recommend the Chromebook screen, maybe put on your headphones, and then you can uh, break out your phone, scroll through that, and use that to uh, look at the focus questions. Speaking of being able to see what's on the screen, the video quality. YouTube settings are usually, uh, if you're on your phone, 360p, it's not great. Uh, if you're on your computer, it could be all the way up to HD, which is great. The problem is though, when your connection is slow, like you're at school, you're up in the cafeteria, or you're on your bus, or maybe just all your siblings are on because it's one of your virtual days, and the whole family needs the internet right then. YouTube is gonna turn down the quality. Now, if it's a video like this where it's just me talking to you, then th that's fine. This part can be in grainy, gobbly greatness. However, as we said before, if you've got a video where you need to see what's on the screen and read the words, then you need to turn the quality up. So to do that, you just click on a little gear. Uh, it's usually down there if you're watching on a computer or if you're watching on your phone, just tap the screen. And then, yeah, go on, tap the screen, and you should see like some dots up in the corner, and change your quality. Change it to as high as you possibly can for the video. Some of my older videos are only 480p, so it still might be a grainy nightmare. Uh, 720 is usually gonna give you a good, I can read this versus load time ratio. That being said, 1080p 60, that's the, that's the golden goose of YouTube right now as of uh, 824 2020. That's where you should shoot. Yeah, it might take a little while. You might have to wait for some buffering. Just hit the pause button, let it do its buffering thing, and you know that'll give you a chance to procrastinate your work a little bit longer. The next thing that you need to do is, I said there'll be focus questions, you need to be taking notes. Don't just treat it like a normal lecture. What if you're in class and the teacher's going too fast? Do you ask them to slow down? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they get grumpy about it. 
YouTube will never get grumpy if you want it to go slower. YouTube will never get grumpy if you use the pause button. YouTube will never get grumpy if you reverse scroll backwards and then you can watch another part of that video again. Like, wait, what was that? I didn't quite catch it. You could watch that part of the video again. You could have virtual Patterson repeating whatever you want him to over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then uh, speaking of which, sometimes it's gonna be hilarious, so feel free to gif that sucker right up. Either way, make sure you're using the play, pause, uh, repeat buttons, use, use the controls to help you. The final thing, if you go down there below the video, you'll notice there's a description. Probably says something about blah, 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 boring, but click that see more. If you're, again, if you're on your mobile, just below the video, a little triangle pointing down, just click the little triangle pointing down. Anytime I talk about links being in the description, there'll be links in the description. Feel free to click on those. Sometimes if I've uh, really done my job well, there might even be an index like table of contents where you could skip to the part of the video that you most need right then. So use those links down in the description for the most part, they're gonna be really helpful. That should help make this year while you're watching videos super duper successful. Thanks for watching everybody.